this might be a colossal failure. So I've been scripting a lot of stuff and that's great. It allows me to jump back and forth in time. It's good. Uh, Adam Neely, love you. I need a new way to make videos quick. Today, we're gonna try this film verite. We're literally just going to hop on the kit and I'll show you what I've been working on, which is some rudimental stuff. Guys, I'm gonna do better on the light, I promise. So, so CrossFit, <laughs> dudes, I'm looking for an analogy here. Basically, rudiments are, you can spend, you can spend all day on them if you want. And the equivalent to that might be you go to the gym, you spend 10 minutes on your arms and 10 minutes on the back of your arms and then 25 minutes on your pinky finger and then 25 minutes on your calves, and, and after a day and a half, you're ready to start the whole cycle over again. I like to cut to the chase. I'm gonna show you what I'm working on. In this particular rudiment, I'm going right to the end. If you take the Alan Dawson rudimental ritual, if you take the 26 essential rudiments, what's at the end? It's flam dragged idols. Why are they so difficult? Each hand has to do. Plus you have to make sure that those flams are falling in exactly the right spot. So it's a lot to deal with, but it's also extremely high leverage. If you work your way through it and you make it good, then you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff. A lot of the, the flams, the diddles, the singles. So first we're just going to practice flam drag diddles, but we're going to do it in a, unconventional way. Because when you put things on the downbeat, your body is expecting that, you're adapted to it, it's not surprising you. You're just gonna do the more predictable thing. If you've got a bad habit, it's gonna be more difficult to break yourself out of that. So we're gonna put the accents on the upbeats. So very first thing we're gonna do is just flam drag it, it'll accent on the second 16th. So three, four. One thing I like to do when I'm doing this is close my eyes because then I'm less worried about the technique. I'm just thinking about the sound. And what I like to do is have a little, what I call an agogic or agogic accent. That's from my old teacher, Dane. Just from the weight of the stick. But I'm not emphasizing them too much. I'm not... Mm, anyway. And of course, we're going to do this slow, fast, slow, but we're going to go slow, medium, quicker, medium, so it stays comfortable, it stays clean. Okay, and you'll feel that sort of repose point where it clicks over into the sticks bouncing. And then you get this really cool thing where you're making less effort, the sticks are bouncing, but you're also controlling with the fulcrum. This is the rudimental feeling. This is what Morello was all about. This is what Wilcoxon is all about. This is where you want to get with rudiments. Okay, now let's immediately incorporate the kit because I don't like to play things in isolation. <laughs> we're, we're here on the kit. We should be incorporating the kit as quickly as possible. So we're gonna do this in a three bar phrase and we're going to hit a surface, right or left. I'll show you how it goes. One, two, three. Same thing as before, we're gonna do this slow, fast, slow. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna make it into a four bar phrase. So how do we do that? We're gonna do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, which is eight. So that'll sound like three, four. All right, and lastly, the thing I did in my last rudiment lesson, we're going to bounce the hi-hat on eights so that we get the open hat. Three, four. Quick sidebar, over the last year, I've worried a lot about whether my sticks are slicing or whether they're coming in straight up and down, and I've obsessed about it. And recently I checked some footage of some Insta choppers and some folks I really respect, and I realized a lot of them are not sweating it that much. Um, to it, if we're playing this stuff with our ear, with our eyes closed, and just trying to get the sound and just trying to get the way it feels, open your eyes, look down at your hands, nine times out of 10, they're going to look good, okay? Break over. Next, do you guys want to learn a little diddle rudiment? So same thing, we're gonna do this. So it's a little inverted paradiddle thing. Same thing as before, we're gonna do that in three, so two, three, So let's skip to the end. Let's make that a four bar phrase again. Let's add the hats on eights. Let's see what we get. Three, four. Okay, fun part. Now we're gonna add plants. So three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. You can tell that one's a little new for me. So in reality, I wouldn't go from the ground up on each of these. I would just start one, then continue to the next. Let me show you. Okay, you saw me struggle with that second one. That's because I'm showing you guys the raw, the unedited, what I'm actually really working on. This is what I would have come in and sat down at the kit and worked on today. Lastly, you guys wanna learn some diddles? You guys wanna learn some diddles? Can we just put right diddles on the screen? Because anyway. 
Okay, so Nate's diddle rudiment evolution. All right, let me explain to you what's going on. I'll keep Curtis here. Two, three. And I don't know how to end it yet. So that was three. Except we're doubling the triplet. So one, two, three. Okay, but what if we do one, two, three, four? And then we double that. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's raw, that's rough, but that's what I'm working on. Okay, so last exercise. Three, four. That's the first part, and then we do a six bar phrase. So three, four. Can do it on other surfaces. Do you guys dig that? It's rough. It's raw. I'm out here bleeding for you guys. But real talk, I'll do that for 15, 20 minutes, sometimes at the beginning of a practice session, sometimes at the end. And my hands have gotten a lot better because of it. So hope you dig it. So dudes, I hope you dug this slightly ad hoc lesson. I used to do these all the time. Hopefully you'll watch this and think he still got it rather than what is happening. But anyway, if you've been watching the channel for a hot minute, if you like what you see, if you feel like you might be ready to study with me, I recommend my more structured courses, my flagship courses, the solo course, the practice course, and the granddaddy of them all, the coaching course. All of which are only available to our mailing list and all of which we only open up a few times a year if you would like to get on the mailing list so that you can hear about the next time we're opening those up. I'll also offer you a completely free bribe, three free videos in three weeks, that'll make your playing better than it's ever gotten before, bro. I think I messed that up. Three videos that'll make you, you get better. How to get them. Click the link below the player, enter your email address in on the next page. Dudes, if you dig this more ad hoc style of lesson, if you want, to, if you want more of the real, want more film verite, just leave a comment below, let me know. I'll produce more like this for you. Okay, been real, enjoyed it.